Today, Wudo and Mongo, you two are going head-to-head -head in a build challenge to see who the best builder is. Ooh, you heard that, Mongo? That means I'm totally gonna beat you because I'm the best builder. Wudo, I've been a better builder than you forever, and you know it. Okay, guys, as the judge, I'll tell you that the first theme is Beach House. Beach House? That sounds so cool, Mongo. I've always wanted a house on the beach. Yup, Budo, but my beach house is gonna be way bigger and it's gonna look way better than yours. Good luck. Ha, in your dreams, Mongo. Oh my gosh, I have just the thing to build the greatest beach house ever. You see, I'm not just going to build in this build challenge. I'm gonna use a little special tool of mine called slash slash pace to cheat my way into winning all i have to do to spawn in this amazing beach house is type in this command just like this and then all i need to do is slash slash pace and here it goes and oh my gosh a beach house and uh oh axie saw it um hi axie did i hear the word cheat used in my build challenge no, you didn't hear anything, Axie. Um, it was a visual glitch. This isn't actually here, okay? It's just a hologram. Wait, but this is the coolest beach house I've ever seen. Wudo, I don't even care that you cheated. This is amazing. Wait, really? That's awesome, Axie. But don't say the cheated part out loud, okay? I just really want to beat Mongo in this build challenge. And the only way I could do that is by cheating with Sai. Slash, slash pace. You cheated. You cheated. All right, quiet down, Axie. Now that I have this entire building pasted in, it's time to work on the inside and make this beach house my beach house so that Mongo can't tell that I copied it in. This is the only way that I'm going to make it look legit, so I better make it count. You know what? If you're already cheating, I might as well help you with the inside. Wait, really, Axie? You're going to help me? Well, that's awesome. Come on. The first thing I want to do is build the living room. And I think the living room should be right over here because this area is so big and wide. Hold on, Wudo. I know exactly what we need. And it's couches for that TV over there. Wait a second. That is a good idea, though. We can use this TV. All I need to do, though, is make it bigger because right now it's way too tiny. Let me just explain expand these blocks out just like this and then what i can do is go into the creative menu and search for speakers then i can place the speakers right next to it and now we have a big loud tv system where we can watch our videos yay i'm gonna put some couches down and then i'm gonna put another one for me wait a second axie that's too close to the screen a true couch should be positioned just a little bit back but hold on a second and I just found some really cool beach-themed sofas. Look at this, Axie. These sofas look so nice. Whoa, there's only one problem. They're a little bit too green. Oh, yeah, you're right. If I want Mongo to like this build, then I'm going to need to split the colors up. How does it look now, Axie? Now it's half red and half green. Super cool, Wudo. Now that we have the TV set up, I think it's time we put a couple of other things in our living room, Axie. Let me just get some carpets right over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a little place where we can have some arcade games and things to play. Ooh, I like things to play. What kinds of things were you thinking? Well, I was thinking we could have a couple of arcade games like I just said, but we can also include some other games like a ping pong table. Have you ever seen a ping pong table before, Axie? No. What's a ping pong? Is it a kind of animal? No, silly. It's not an animal. A ping pong table is where you take a tiny little plastic ball and throw it back and forth on top of a table. If you knock the ball on the ground, that's how you lose. 
Well, that doesn't sound very interesting. Why does it have to be a tiny ball? Why can't it be a massive ball? Because it's too big, silly. You have to play ping pong on this table. Check it out. I'm going to use these torches as a divider. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these carpet blocks to show which side the player plays on. As you can see, I'll be playing on this side. But Mongo is going to be playing on this side. And then we can see who's going to win. Come on. Maxie, take this. Huh? You just threw a slab at me. Oh, you lost because you didn't hit it back to me fast enough. Hee <laughs> hee. Anyways, Axie, now that we're done with the ping pong table, I think there should be one more thing we build over here. I say we build a basketball court. Uh, I don't really like basketball. The hoop is way too tall for me. Wait, what? Are you serious, Axie? Basketball is one of the coolest games ever. Come on. I'm sure you'll love it if you just give another shot. Let me just place these fences over here, and then I'm going to grab some blocks for the backboard just like this and now what i can do is i can stack these up over here and then i can have a basket in the middle let's see what can i use as a basket i think i'm gonna go and grab some cobwebs and then what i'll do is i'll grab some trap doors to put on the outside now i can put this basket right over here and then the bucket itself will be made out of these trap doors now what you can do is you can jump up, throw something in there, and that'll be a basket. Ludo, it's too tall. Uh, let me get up there. Mm. Wait, Axie, you can't cheat in basketball like that, silly. If you're too short, that's kind of your own problem. Hey, you're so mean, Ludo. I don't want to hang out with you anymore. No, 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 Axie. I was just kidding, okay? Fine, we can make this axolotl basketball. I'm going to put another mini basket right over here just for you, okay? It's too late. I've moved on to something else. Wait, what? What did you move on to, Axie? Look, I just finished building it right over here, and now it's all done. No, go away. I am busy. Wait, what are you busy with, Axie? Oh, gosh. I better go check her out. But first, let me just finish building this, and there we go. Now we can play a little game of basketball, and then Axie has her mini axolotl basketball. But let's go see. What is Axie doing? doing and oh, Axie is sad eating cake. Oh no. Axie, are you okay? This is quite a lot of cake you're eating. How is this a lot of cake? I eat like 200 times this every day. Are you feeling better though? No, because you called me short and you said it was my problem. Okay, well then how about this, Axie? I know exactly what can help you feel better. How about we clear out this old kitchen and instead we make Make a cake baking kitchen just for you. Wait, a, a cake baking kitchen? Exactly. Hold on a second, Axie. I'm just going to delete all these blocks because these are from this old trash house that I copied in. My house is going to be way better. So now that I'm done clearing all this out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some special blocks that look like they belong in a kitchen. All I need to do is go to the building blocks area. Scroll down a bit, and boom, check it out, Axie. These are checkered blocks. Whoa, it's like the bigger pattern, but tiny. Exactly, and every kitchen has them, so let's make a giant space just like that. And now what I can do is I can go and grab some stoves like this, because this is how you make cake. You need a nice big stove. So let's put a bunch of them right over here. And then what we can do is we can put down one refrigerator. Because after all, you only need one refrigerator to hold all your ingredients, Axie. Because you're just going to make a ton of cakes. Refrigerators! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Not too many refrigerators, silly. I think one is fine and two is pushing it. We'll just leave the ones right over there, okay? Okay. Now that we have that that all done, Axie, we also need some counter space to prepare your cakes. So I'm going to grab these birch counters and we're going to place them all over here, just like this. So now you can prepare all your cakes on the side. So let me just get some cakes real quick and 
then also get a dough rolling pan. You see this, Axie? That's how you make cake. I thought you make cake in a crafting table. Well, you can, but just for the build, we want to make it extra fancy schmancy. Anyways, now that that's all done, the only thing that I'm going to need now is a kitchen hood because this is going to make sure that any smoke goes up into a vent instead of inside the house. I don't want you accidentally burning everything down, Axie. Wait, when have I ever burned anything down, Wudo? You've done it a couple times, okay? You can admit it. But anyways, now that that's all done, I can put a little island over here to make sure that it doesn't look too empty. And then I can put some different flavors of cake so that we can try them out. How about I put down some melon cake, a three-tiered cake, a mushroom cake. Ooh, some of these other cakes look really tasty. Even a chorus cake or a redstone cake and Axie, what are you doing? Well, you did say it was an island after all. I mean, you needed the water. No, silly. It's not that type of island. It's a kitchen island. But don't worry. I just need to run this command and all the water is cleaned up. Aw, I liked when it was an island. Look at all these experimental cakes I have, Axie. Don't these look really interesting? This one looks really suspicious. Let me just try it. Oh, it tastes pretty good. Wait, you like that, Axie? Oh my gosh, it's a redstone cake. That's not good. Let's just hope she doesn't get sick later. But anyways, now that that's all done, I'll just put a couple of counters over here so that we can finish the kitchen and move on to an even better room, Axie. Are you excited to see what I'm going to build next? Yeah, what's it gonna be? Well, Axie, I want to build something called a bedroom. And let's see, I want to build it right over here because I want it to have direct access to the pool outside. Remember, this is a beach house and I really need to appreciate the beach if I'm gonna be living here. That's true, Wudo. Okay, whose bedroom is it gonna be? It's gonna be my bedroom. But you know what, Axie? We can probably share it together too so come on what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it this really beachy look this birch and oak wood looks really really nice just like you're at the beach so i'm going to put down some nice big glass panes to make sure that i have an amazing view of the water outside whoa it does look really cool now that i have all those windows set up all i need to do is just put some blocks over here and then i can get a super fancy golden door to position right over here check it out axie huh i'm busy getting a tan wudo Ooh, look at you i bet you're enjoying the beautiful sun that's out today right over there but hold on axie i'm almost done with this bedroom if I'm going to finish this bedroom, I need a big bed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this menu and I'm going to search for something really, really cool. Check it out, Axie. This birch fancy bed over here looks so fancy. And I'm going to make it gigantic so that I can sleep whichever way I want. Hey, where am I going to sleep? Oh, don't worry, Axie. I have just the thing for you. Check it out. It's your own little pink bed. What? You get this whole bouncy thing and I get that little sleeping bag? Okay, fine. I guess you can have it be a little bit bigger. Does this look better? Fine. I'm still going to jump on your bed, though. Hey, you're not allowed to do that. Okay, okay. Anyways, now that I have that done, what I need to do is I'm going to put some nice bedside cabinets and then I'm going to grab a nice, nice lamp that I can also put here. Wow, this is definitely getting a tropical vibe, Axie. What I can also do is I can put up a fancy painting. Let's see. I'm just going to grab this real quick and ooh, check it out. These are some really, really pretty paintings of the ocean. Doesn't this look amazing, Axie? Yeah, but... 
just realized something, Wudo. We have a pool, but there's no beach anywhere to be seen. Don't worry, Axie. We're gonna get to that right now. All I need to do is grab some of these glass blocks just like this, and we're going to make a pretend beach, but it's gonna look super duper realistic. Check this out. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna start stacking up glass right over here. Can you guess why? Uh, because you like to collect glass? No, silly. I don't just like to collect glass. We're going to be making an aquarium. Whoa, an aquarium? Can I sleep in the aquarium? I mean, I guess you can because you are an axolotl. But the coolest part about this aquarium, Axie, is that it's going to connect outside and then connect to the beach and the pool. That's why it's super duper cool. Whoa, okay. So the animals can swim between the pool and the room? Yeah, exactly. And it is going to be really, really sick. So what I'm going to do is just connect these with the glass just like this and then then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a nice little stopper right over here just to make sure that they can't escape. And now that I have that all done, they should be able to swim freely all around here. So let me just grab some water just like this, fill in all the water over here and check it out, Axie. We have everything we need for our aquarium. All I need to do now is just put some sand on the bottom of the water and then Axie can you please put down some corals and stuff to make it look nice and fancy? This is a very, very fancy beach house. Okay, Udo, I'm on it. While you do that, I'm going to start working on some of the amenities outside. When I'm out in a really hot day, I like to enjoy some ice cold drinks. And that's exactly what you need if you're at a beach house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search drink and I'm going to get a bunch of different amazing drinks that we can enjoy. Like what, Udo? Well, I found these really cool strawberry drinks, Axie. Check it out. I'm going to have have a strawberry smoothie. Let me see if I can get some watermelon. Oh, yes, I have some watermelon. Let's go. While you do that, Udo, I'm going to start spawning in the fish. Ooh, okay, Axie, you do that. And while you do that, I'm going to grab an item frame right over here. And then I'm just going to put all the fancy drinks on the counter. Check it out. I have a strawberry smoothie, some dragon breath soda. Ooh, I wonder if there's any other other sodas and oh yeah i can take a lemon soda a cream soda a grape soda and even coca-cola that's awesome these drinks are gonna be so nice when they're chilly and to make sure they're chilly i'm even gonna grab some ice to make sure that they stay nice and cold Ooh, check that out that is so amazing oh Ludo, i'm done with the animals Whoa, this is so cool, Axie. You actually built an underwater aquarium. There are some axolotls and wait, does that axolotl have a name? Is it called Laxy? Yep, it's my cousin. Wow, Axie, that's actually pretty cool. And all the fishies are here too. I think this aquarium looks amazing. And now it connects from my bedroom all the way to the outside. But now that we're outside, Axie, I do think it's time to add some beach things like you mentioned. So in order to bring the beach to us, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this special wand tool and I'm going to replace all the empty blocks right over here with water. Whoa, that's so cool, Udo. I think we need even more beach. Okay, Axie, we could totally do that. All I need to do is select more of these blocks over here just like this and check this out. Now we're going to have have even more water outside of our beach house so it's truly a beach house yay it finally looks like a real beach house and you know what we can do to get access to this giant place axie we can build a mini yacht a mini yacht why not a big yacht because a big yacht would be too big for this place and this mini yacht is still gonna be super duper luxurious so let me just grab some glass and place some glass right over here because this is going to be wudo super duper glass 
glass yacht, which means it has the best views because of how much glass it has. I'm going to live in this yacht forever. Wait, really, Axie? I don't know if you'd like that, but whatever. Come on. Let's just finish putting down these blocks over here just like this. And what you can do is you can build some chairs inside the bottom here, Axie, and I'll build the captain's area. Okay. What kind of chairs should I put down? You should probably put down something really, really comfortable just in case the seas get a little bit rough. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this helm right over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one big captain's chair right in the front, just like this. Wait, who's going to be the captain? I'm going to be the captain, Axie. Do you trust me to be your captain? No, not really. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, you know what? That's fine. Let me just make sure that everything looks good here. And oh, yeah, it's like a little tiny boat. I guess what I can do is I can put a sail on it just to make it look a little bit nicer. Let me grab some lime wool and check this out, Axie. You now have a giant ship that will take us from and away this huge beach house. Yay! The only problem is it doesn't move. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you're right, Axie. But don't worry. I'll have something that can actually make you move. And I'm going to connect it to the pool that was already here. Do you want to guess what this is going to be? Nope. I have no clue. It's going to be a giant water slide. Whoa, really? Giant water slide? Yeah, Axie. This water slide is going to be amazing. And I know we're running low on time. So this is the last thing that we're going to add, which will hopefully make it so that Mongo loses and we win this build challenge. Come on. All I need to do is make it turn to the right, just like this. And then once it connects over here, I'm going to make it dump into the water. Ready, Axie? Yeah, as soon as I'm done putting down my mud. Wait, what's your mud? Hold on. Let me just put down the water and we check it out. It's actually a full water slide. You know what I should do too, though? I'm going to replace these right concrete blocks and I'm instead going to replace it with some really cool stained glass. That way it won't obstruct the views of the beach. So let me just take this block right over here and replace it with lime stained glass. And whoa, look at that. It's really a water slide. All I need to do now is take some ladders and make it connect all the way to the top here. And now I have a really cool water slide that we can use in our pool, Axie. That's nice, Wudo, but I am busy relaxing in the mud. Wait a second. You're relaxing somewhere, Axie? I need to see what this is like because Axie's always going crazy. And wait, what? This is your mud play area? Yeah, it's like my mini spa. Do you like it? Um, I guess it is kind of cool as long as I'm not getting muddy from it over on this side. You have this whole side to yourself, Axie. Yay! Now come sit in the mud with me. No way, Axie! I don't want to do that. Hold on. I have something even better that you can do, though, while you're sitting there. How about I just grab these little things right over here, just like this. And now what you can do, Axie, is you can sit over here by the beach and start painting the sunset. Isn't that super cool? Whoa, yeah, I can't wait to paint Mongo when he's over here. That's right. When Mongo's over here, we'll have a painting competition to see who the better painter is, too. But I have to say, Axie, everything in our house looks really good. Do you think we built enough so that Mongo isn't too suspicious of us? Probably. Anyway, why would he think you're cheating? Yeah, you're right. At least the house is a little bit empty so that he won't completely convince me of cheating something crazy in. But come on, Axie. I think it's time to go check in on Mongo and see what he's doing, okay? Okay, let's do it. Oh, hello, Mongo. Is your build finished? Yes, it is, Wudo. Do you want to see it? Oh, yeah, I do. And look at you. You're all tropically. And, uh, Mongo, what in the world is this? Dang! 
wait. What do you mean, Wudo? It's my exclusive beach house. This is your exclusive beach house? I don't think so, Mongel. This place looks more like a dirt shack with water around it. Why are there a bunch of turtles in boats? Hold on, guys. I can give you an explanation for everything. First of all, inside my house is a bed and a nightstand so you can actually sleep. And so it's a house and there's a painting here and it looks amazing. But if you go outside, you can see the beach part of it, which is the sand and the water. There's even one beach towel for you guys to enjoy right here. And there's some beach chairs over here as well. And then for the turtles you were asking, well, they just give a tropical vibe. And I thought Wudo would like the fact that I have turtles in my build. Interesting, Mongo. But why is there only one beach towel? What if Axie wants to lay down on the beach too? Right, Axie? I don't want to lay down on the beach. I want to lay down on my mud. Oh, gosh. I forgot about that. Look at her. She's literally being suffocated by it. Mm, so nice. Don't worry, my beach is big enough so anyone can fit whatever they want on here. Well, Monko, you might think your beach is the best one, but why don't you come on over to my beach house? As you can see, Mongo, if you want to access our beach house, then you're going to need to get on top of our mini yacht. Wait a second, Wudo. When did you get so good at building? Oh, are you talking about my build, Mongo? Ha, <laughs> yeah. This build is obviously 10 times better than yours. Doesn't my beach house look so cool? It looks awesome, Wudo. I didn't know you could build like this. Come on, Mongo. Let me take you inside and show you the first thing. I didn't have too much time to finish everything, but I did get the important parts down check this out we have a nice big luxury tv to lay back and enjoy on this super cool beach couch whenever we want whoa this tv's gigantic and you know what people should do when they watch us on a TV, Mongo? They should subscribe. Exactly. So if you haven't subscribed already, do it in three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing. And now that you subscribed, you have access to our gaming area. Check this out, Mongo. Not only do I have some super cool FNAF arcades, I also have a ping pong table where we can play ping pong. Wait, really, Wudo? Your house is so cool. Take this, Mongo. Take my ping pong balls. I'll take that back, Wudo. Oh, gosh. I don't think that's how you're supposed to play ping pong. But don't worry. We can do something else that's super cool. Check out this mini basketball court I made. As you can see, it's perfect for me and you, Mongo, to shoot our basketballs. I even made a mini one for Axie so that she can throw them. I don't need the mini one, Wudo. I'm gonna use the big one. Wait, what? That's cheating, though, Axie. Ready for this dunk, Wudo? Three, two, one. Hi, ya! Whoa, that was so cool. I'm gonna do the same thing in three, two, one. Hi, ya! Oh my gosh, Mongo, I dunked like crazy. Wudo, I saw you fly. Yeah, just like me. And you said I was cheating. You guys didn't see anything. Anyways, Mongo, why don't you come over here into the super cool master bedroom where I will be sleeping. If you come on inside, you'll see that I have a very nice big bed over here with some nice beachy decorations. And I also built a bed for Axie. No, Wudo, this house is way too beautiful. The bedroom looks way too good. You know what? I've had enough. I'm going to sleep here too. Um, okay. I guess you're going to invite yourself over then, Mongo. But while you sleep there, at least you'll have a good view of our aquarium. This aquarium is so cool, Mongo, because not only is it inside the house, it's also outside the house. And uh, what's going on? There's a leak in your aquarium, Wudo. No, there's not. You put that leak there. Mongo, I think I just saw you try to break it. Did you? No, you didn't see anything. Hmm, suspicious, Mongo. Anyways, now that you're outside, though, you see that these different fishes and... Hey, Mongo, I saw you break that. Stop breaking it. 
Whoa, your pool area looks awesome, Wudo. How in the world did you think and build all this in like five minutes? Don't try to change the subject, buddy. As I was saying, this aquarium lets all the fishies see the beach and Mongo. You know what? You're banned from the aquarium. You keep trying to break it. Wudo, it's breaking on its own. Okay, okay, whatever, Mongo. Here's something you can't break. How about you go down my super cool water slide? that goes in my pool and hey you're breaking this too well you said i can't break it wudo anyways now that i think about it how in the world did you think of putting all these rocks and stuff here wudo was this really all your idea um yeah of course it was mongo I, I would never cheat or anything i mean look i even put down some drawing canvases over here so that we can draw each other and look i can draw your body really really fast because because you're super easy to draw, Mongo. All I need to do is make a big round belly just like this. And then what I can do... No, 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 Wudo. Why are you switching the subject? Tell me, how in the world did you build this house? Do you know that there's an attic to this house, Wudo? Um, yeah, of course I did, Mongo. <laughs> Look, um, I'm just going to finish this painting over here just like this. And as you can see, you have a big belly. And then I... Afterwards, you have your feet in your hands, see? <laughs> hey, Wudo, stop switching the subject. Guess what? I just asked you a question if there was an attic in the house, and there is no attic in the house, and you said there was an attic to the house. Well, yes, there's an attic to the house. You just need to go up here, and yeah, there is. See, right up here. This is the second floor, Wudo, not the attic. Look, I even broke to the roof to see if there was an attic, and there's nothing here. Um, Mongo, that is totally an attic. You know what? I won this round. Come on, Axie. Didn't I win? Yep. Fair and square. Perfect. In that case, Mongo, my score right now is 1-0, which means that if you want to beat me, you have to beat me twice. Sure, Wudo. We'll see about the next round. All right, you guys. It's time for the next round. And your theme this time is... Airplane! Airplane? Whoa, that sounds so sick! No way, my airplane is gonna be gigantic, Wudo. You have five minutes to build this round. <laughs> five minutes? I can still build something better than you in five minutes. Come on, Axie. We're gonna make this the coolest airplane ever. You wanna know why? Why, Wudo? Because I have a special thing that I can paste in. All I need to do is type in this command. Go over here. All the way over here, actually, because it's super duper big. And then I just need to do this. And then all I need to do is, I think, go over here and type in slash slash paste and oh my gosh Axie that's our airplane but hold on let me just fix it real quick let me undo that and then paste it like this and booyah check it out Axie this is our giant airplane whoa look at how big it is this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen it's a double decker airplane Axie and it has four different engines and it has an entire interior too look at how cool the inside of this thing is what could we possibly add to this thing axie we can literally add whatever we want the options are quite literally limitless but hold on that was just the bottom floor look what it looks like on the top floor axie do you see all these first class seats it's so cool whoa i want to ride first class Exactly! Me too, Axie. So I say we quickly make this airplane a super exclusive VIP Wudo Airlines airplane. What do you say? Yeah, but before we do anything, we should probably switch this blue to green or Mongo will get suspicious. Oh yeah, you're right. This will look way too much like we cheated. So I just need to type in this command, which will set all this blue wool to lime green wool. Yeah! That looks so much better. Yeah. Okay. What do we do now? Now we need to come up with what chairs we want to put in first class. So we better get something that looks really, really nice, Axie. Otherwise, we could disappoint our first class customers. Let me see. Oh, I have the perfect. 
perfect thing. Wait, really? What is it then? Oh gosh, no, no, no. Axie, please, no mud on the airplane, okay? Mud can get really, really dirty. Instead, what I think we should do is we should put down these birch couches. They look so, so comfy, and I'm sure everyone will really love them if they're sitting down on a nice couch and then be able to see a super cool view of the wing. Look at how big that wing is, too. I can't even see the full thing from inside. Okay, Udo, we'll do it your way. All right, Axie, just build a couple of chairs over here just like this because this isn't going to be any normal airplane. We're going to have different sections to our airplane. We are? Yeah, and the different sections are going to have different activities that people can do while they're on the plane. Check it out. I think one of the first things that people should be able to do is do a racetrack race. Uh, that sounds a little bit dangerous to do in the air. Don't worry, Axie. It's 100% certified. All I need to do is grab my wand tool just like this, and then what I can do is I can build a racetrack. So, people are gonna access cars right over here, and then they're gonna drive them out, and they're gonna have to do a little driving course around here and beat their friends in a race. Okay, I'm gonna get out my favorite car. Wait, you have a favorite car, Axie? I didn't even know Axolotls could drive. Uh, my favorite car is here. Wait a second. That's just a shopping cart, Axie. That's not a real car. It isn't, but it's what all the Axolotls back home drive. Oh my gosh. You saying that other Axolotls can drive too? That's probably not a good thing, but you know what? It's whatever, Axie. Check it out. I even have some different obstacles over here that you have to avoid and then once you make it to the end you'll get a prize Ooh, what kind of prize well i think we should find the best airplane snacks ever but hold on a second axie let me just put down those obstacles like i said for example i want to put some checker blocks down here so let me just put down some of these slabs as obstacles and then once you make it to the end i can put down this finish line and then we'll have the snack area over here, Axie. Let me just get a nice counter over here that is airplane safe like this. And tell me, Axie, which snacks should our VIP winners get? Cake! All cake! Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Let me just grab some cakes over here, and then we can put a mountain of cake that the winners of the race will enjoy. Oh, gosh, I wish this was actually on real airplanes. Do you know how much cake I would eat if it was actually actually real? Uh, like 2,000? I'd probably eat 10,000. Exactly, Axie. But come on, now that we have the racetrack section all finished, I say we come over here and we build something even cooler for the airplane guests to enjoy. You want to guess what I'm going to build? A mud spa. A mud spa? Oh no, Axie. This is going to be even cooler than a mud spa. You know why? Why? What could possibly be cooler than a mud spa? Because I'm going to build a mini boxing arena so that we could do some boxing while we're on the airplane. Ooh, sounds good. All right, let me just put down these fences right over here, and then I can put down some stairs as well. Basically, this will be useful just in case you want to box your friend if they try to beat you in a race, aka Mongo. But now that that's all done, I'm going to grab some cool lights as well. Let me just grab grab this one over here and now it looks like a real boxing arena how cool is that super cool ludo are we adding anything else Yep, right back over here, Axie. We're gonna do one last thing. You see, whenever I'm on an airplane, I like to watch movies. But unfortunately, the screens are always too small. So instead, we're gonna add a huge screen over here. And then it'll be like a mini movie theater for all of our plane guests. Ooh, cool. All I need to do is just grab some sofas like this. Ooh, this sofa should look perfect. And now I can put them all over here so that people can enjoy the movie from no matter where they're sitting. Just like that. 
minutes. Hold on, Udo. I just realized we forgot something important. Wait, what are you holding in your hand, Axie? Is that a toilet I see? People need somewhere to poop in here. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you're right. Okay, well, it looks like you actually found a good place to put a toilet, even though the official bathroom's in the back of the plane over here. I'll just put some extra toilets just in case people need it, just like this. And you know what, Axie? I think our plane is fully finished. I think there's only one last last thing we need to do and it's outside the plane it is yeah follow me outside axie because every plane always has a livery attached to it which is basically the plane's paint and logo and this is going to be wudo airlines so it needs a giant w on the back tail just like this I think an L might be better. An L? Why an L, Axie? I don't take L's. Wudo only takes W's. Okay, whatever you say, Wudo. All right, let me just finish putting that right over there. And in the meantime, Axie, do you want to try to put some green blocks anywhere else on the plane? Time's about to run out. Okay, I'll put them here and here and here and here. Wait, what, Axie? What are you talking about exactly? Oh, gosh, I better go look before she ruins something. Anyways, that W logo looks really good. And, um, Axie, what is this? It looks like a giant alien left poop on top of our airplane. We can't have that, silly. Well, you said I should put green blocks in other places. No, no, no. We want to make it look fancy. So, for example, let me just grab these two green stripes right over here and voila! Now it looks a little bit fancier. Okay, Woodle, whatever you say. All right, Axie, I think it's time we go show Mongo how our plane looks because the time's basically run out and there's no way that his plane looks anywhere as cool as ours with all four of its engines, the tail, the wings, even the airplane's feet, and of course our amazing first class cab. But come on, Mongo, where are you? Wait, guys, are you finally ready to see my plane? Mongo, I'm already looking over at your side, and the fact that I can't see it yet makes me concerned. And what in the world is that goofy plane? That's what you call a plane, Mongo? This is my new plane, and it's called Air Mongo. Air Mongo? Mongo, this doesn't look like an airplane, silly. This looks like a walking chicken with two wings on it. Look at the inside. It's so poopy and brown. Wudo, that's so mean. Look, you can sit down over here and then Axie can sit down over here and I can drive it over here. No, I'm driving the plane. Are you sure this plane can even turn on, Mongo? I don't even see an engine here. And why is it on fire? It can definitely turn on what do you mean wudo it's on fire because it was landing and it went so fast well, Mongo, I'm sure you think that your plane is cool and all, but trust me, it's nothing compared to the plane that me and I, I mean, just me built. <laughs> that was close, Axie. I definitely didn't help Woodo this whole time. Wait a second. What are you guys even talking about? I bet your plane doesn't look as cool as mine. And <gasps> what in the world, Woodo? How did you build a plane this big? Uh, Mongo, welcome to Wudo Airlines. As you can see, this airplane is the coolest airplane ever built. Not only is it the biggest, it also has two different floors that you can sit on. Why does this actually look like a realistic airplane, Wudo? I've never seen anyone build something like this before. I'm just really good at building, Mongo. Anyways, why don't you hop on inside and check out what we have to offer first things first this is the first class cabin you can come here and lay down on these luxuriously soft sofas that were imported from france which means that they're the softest to ever exist no way, Wudo. This is actually crazy. And then when you're done relaxing, you can come back over here to the next part of the cabin. This part's really, really cool because it's a race on top of an airplane. Are you ready to go, Mongo? No way, Wudo. How did you even build this? 
this. Uh, it's the coolest thing ever. Let's go. My shopping cart. Sorry, Axie. We had to borrow your shopping carts for a second. And wait, what? Mongo, you won the race? There's no way you would win a race against me. I'm eating all the cake because I won the race, Wudo. <sighs> okay, well, you know what? This is exactly why I built this arena here on purpose. It's a boxing arena, Mongo, just in case we can't settle things on the racetrack. You have a boxing arena inside of your plane? You're so going down, Wudo. Get over here. Hiya, hiya. All right, come on, come Come on. Oh, 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 gosh, my God, I'm getting really tired. No, you're going to get knocked out. Oh, 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 gosh. Okay, I'm tired, Mongo. All right, I'll let you win the racetrack. That's right, Wudo. This is what happens when you mess with me. But wait a second. What in the world is this? Well, Mongo, I personally am always super tired by how tiny the screens are on airplanes. So I decided to build one giant movie theater and then have a bunch of cinema seats just like this. Hmm, interesting, interesting, Wudo. Can you tell me what's back here? Well, these are the toilets in case you need to go and use them on the plane. I know you like to stink up the place, Mongo, but that's why I built a separate toilet area so that you can do your doo-doo in peace. I have a question for you, Wudo. What's your question? This is going to determine if we're friends or not. Why in the world did you use this as the sink for the bathroom instead of using the sink that we normally use, huh? Oh, well, because this sink, you see, uh, it's not airplane safe. Right, Axie? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, he definitely didn't cheat this entire time. <laughs> yep, that's why I had to use this one, Mongo. Hee <laughs> hee hee hee. No, Wudo, I know what's airplane safe or not, and these look way better. Matter of fact, these sinks that you have look like they're from somewhere else. I know you wouldn't build something like that, Wudo. And then let's go outside real quick to the back. Now, as I see, you put a W here trying to make it seem like it's your build. But I'm smarter than that, Wudo. I can ask you a few questions to find out if you built this or not. Are you ready? Um, sure, Mom. I go, uh, I mean, I built it, so I would obviously know. How long is the plane in terms of blocks, Wudo? Um, I think the plane, it's 186 blocks long, right? Wrong, 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 wrong. It's above 200 blocks, Wudo. Okay, I'll give you an easier question. How many first class seats are there, Wudo? And we're going to go count after you tell me the amount. So come on, tell me. Um, I think there's 15, Mongo. There should be like 15 or 16. 15 or 16. Come on, Wudo. Let's go count them real quick to verify your answer. <laughs> Wudo, I think desperate times might call for desperate measures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There's fourteen, and you said there was fifteen or sixteen, Wudo. That means you didn't build this. Tell me who built it. Uh, okay, Axie, you know what? Desperate times do call for desperate measures. Self destruction sequence initiate. Are you serious? Yes, Wudo, you cheated! I'm sorry, my girl. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, then watch another video on screen. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Bye.